Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing fine at home. My name is Miss Camila, and today we're going to learn about present simple. The objective is to identify use and form of present simple. So, what is present simple? The present simple is used to talk about routines or daily habits, usually scheduled actions. We have talked about the present simple before when we work on our daily routine, but now we will see it in more detail. First of all, if we draw a timeline, we can differentiate among three times, the past, the present, and the future. And we have already seen the present continuous, and now we're going to talk about the present simple. Now we're going to see the three types of sentences. We're going to start with the positive sentence. So we're going to start with any pronoun. Next, we're going to use a verb in the present simple tense. And finally, we're going to end with the complement. But we need to remember this, that is very important. When we have the pronoun he, she, or it, we're going to add an S to the verb only in the positive sentence. Tenemos que recordar algo muy importante. Cuando tenemos el pronombre he, she, or it en la oración, le vamos a agregar una S al verbo solamente en la oración positiva. For example, he plays football. As you can see here, we add an S to the verb play because we are using the pronoun he. Como Puedes ver acá, le vamos a agregar una S al verbo play porque estamos utilizando el pronombre he. We eat pizza. Nosotros comemos pizza. Aquí no agregamos ninguna S porque no estamos utilizando el pronombre he, she, or it. Estamos utilizando el pronombre we. I read a book. Yo leo un libro. Aquí tampoco le vamos a agregar una S al verbo porque, de nuevo, no estamos utilizando el pronombre ni he, ni she, ni it. And finally, she drives a car. Ella maneja un auto. Acá sí le vamos a agregar una S al verbo porque estamos utilizando el pronombre she. In the negative sentence, we're going to use words that are called auxiliaries. Vamos a utilizar unas palabras que se llaman auxiliares. And we have two types, do and does. We're going to use do with the pronouns I, I you, we, they and does with the pronouns he, she, it. So the negative sentence, we're going to start with a pronoun. Next, we're going to use any auxiliary, do or does, depending on the pronoun. Next, we're going to use the word not, that means no, because it is a negative sentence. Next, we're going to use a verb in the infinitive tense. Vamos a utilizar un verbo en infinitivo. En este caso, no es en presente simple, porque si estaría en presente simple, implica que le tenga que poner una S cuando, por ejemplo, tengo los pronombres he, she, or it. And finally, we're going to end with the complement. So, for example, he does not play football. Él no juega fútbol. As you can see here, we didn't add an S to the verb play because this is a negative sentence. And we only add an S to the verb in the positive sentence. Aquí no agregamos una S en el verbo play, aunque el pronombre sea he, porque la S se le agrega al verbo solamente en la oración positiva. Next, we do not eat pizza. Nosotros no comemos pizza. In this case, we're going to use the auxiliary do because we have the pronoun we. En este caso, utilizamos el auxiliar do porque estamos utilizando el pronombre we. Next, I do not read a book. Yo no leo un libro. Also, in this case, we use the auxiliary do because we're using the pronoun I. También en este caso, utilizamos el auxiliar do porque estamos utilizando el pronombre I. And finally, she does not drive a car. In this case, we do not add an S to the verb again because it is a negative sentence. And also we use the auxiliary does because we are using the pronoun she. Acá hay dos cosas importantes. Nuevamente, no le vamos a agregar una S al verbo porque esta es una oración negativa, no una oración positiva. Y también utilizamos el auxiliar does 
porque estamos utilizando el pronombre she en la oración. Finally, the interrogative sentence. Here we also are going to use the auxiliary, so we have to remember the two types of auxiliaries and also the pronouns that are used in both of the auxiliaries. So we're going to start with do or does depending on the pronoun that we write next. Next, we're going to write a verb in infinitive tense. Acá vamos a escribir también un verbo en infinitivo, no un verbo en presente simple, ya que no vamos a agregarle una S al verbo porque eso solamente pasa en la oración positiva y esta es una oración interrogativa. Next, we're going to write our complement and finally, we're going to use the question mark because this is a question. So here we have, for example, does he play football? Él juega fútbol. As you can see here, we don't add an S to the verb play because this is a question. And also, we use the auxiliary does because we're using the pronoun he. Si puedes ver acá, no vamos a agregar una S al verbo play porque esta no es una oración positiva, es una oración interrogativa. Y también utilizamos el auxiliar does porque estamos utilizando el pronombre he. Next, do we eat pizza? ¿Nosotros comemos pizza? Here we use the auxiliary do because we are using the pronoun we. Acá utilizamos el auxiliar do porque estamos utilizando el pronombre we. Next, do I read a book? ¿Leo yo un libro? Here also we're going to use the auxiliary do because we're using the pronoun I. Aquí también vamos a utilizar el auxiliar do porque estamos utilizando el pronombre I. And finally, does she drive a car? Here also, don't forget, we don't add an S to the verb because this is an interrogative sentence. And we're going to use the auxiliary does because we're using the pronoun she. Acá tampoco vamos a agregar una S al verbo porque esta es una oración interrogativa, no una positiva. Y también utilizamos el auxiliar does porque estamos utilizando el pronombre she. Also, and very important, don't forget that the first question mark that we use in Spanish, we don't use it in English. Recuerda que también el signo de interrogación que va al principio de la oración que utilizamos en español no se utiliza en inglés, solo el del final. So, remember, and very important, don't forget this. In the positive sentence, we're going to add an S to the verb when we have the pronoun he, she, it, only in the positive sentence. En la oración positiva, si tenemos el pronombre he, she, or it, siempre le vamos a agregar una S al verbo, solo en la oración positiva. In the negative and interrogative sentence, we're going to use auxiliaries, do or does. And also remember that we use both auxiliaries in different types of pronouns. En la oración interrogativa y en la negativa, vamos a utilizar auxiliares. Ambos auxiliares son para diferentes pronombres. No olvides, por favor, esto es súper importante, por eso te lo puse en una diapositiva aparte para que no se te olvide. Here is the activity. Complete the sentences using present simple. Write everything on your copybook. Send the activity to our email, english.cmhn at gmail.com, with your name and grade. If you have any questions about the activity or the content, remember that you can send us an email and we will answer you as soon as possible. Here is the activity. Remember you have to write everything on your copybook and don't forget, and very important, take a look at the end of the sentence. Muy importante ver el final de la oración porque ahí te vas a fijar si la oración es positiva, negativa o es una pregunta para utilizar los auxiliares correspondientes y también si le tienes que agregar una S o no al verbo que está entre paréntesis. Take care and stay safe. Bye.